Hey guys, today we're going to talk about tape delays. Now, tape delays originally were tape. They were basically giant boxes that musicians put on the floor uh, next to their pedal board. And using reel-to-reel -reel tape, they would run like four different heads, and each head could hear and play back uh, what was just recorded. And that's how they got delay at first. Now, there's an interesting thing about that, of course. Obviously, analog technology kept improving, and eventually they didn't need the tape anymore. But some things happened, some magic things. Some musicians realized that that tape delay not only had a unique sound, kind of like a record versus a digital recording, but it also had an effect on an amplifier. It actually could drive the amplifier from the preamp that was in the delay a little bit, just that sweet spot, or it was like a thickening agent. It would warm an amplifier up. So a lot of musicians started ripping the preamps out of those tape delays. And that's why you see so many different pedals now that is that preamp basically taken from a tape delay. So the question is, why would you want an analog or digital version of a tape delay? Well, Wampler Pedals is making the, uh, the, the faux tape echo pedal. And what is unique about it is that it basically gives you that thickening agent. And it basically improves the amp sound again. And the reason that's important is, generally speaking, you would want to run your delay through your effects loop. We've talked about that before, where we want to run that behind where the overdrive is happening. But in this case, it's really nice to run it in front of the amplifier. And it's really important if you have like a Fender type amp or a Marshall where there isn't an effects loop. So you really have no choice. A lot of musicians back in the day, like Eddie Van Halen, ran the tape delay in front of the amps because they had no choice. So let's show you some of that. So what I'm gonna show you right now is the amplifier. I'm using the Friedman PT20 through a Vintage 30, nothing special, and just a little bit of overdrive. <laughs> There's just the amp going right now, no reverbs, no nothing. Right, pretty straightforward. Now let's add some of that tape delay. Now what's gonna happen is you'll notice the amp just get a little thicker, a little bit more on the push on the amp, just a little bit on the gain circuit, just a, just a little teeny push, almost like I switched to a slightly hotter pickup. And of course, you'll hear the delay in the background. <laughs> And where I really notice it is on a lead part. Without it versus this. See? Now, obviously, without delay, it's not as, uh, doesn't sustain as long. But more importantly, you can hear the note doesn't have that same warmth. So it has a perfect kind of effect, and you can dial in how much mix. So if you don't want to hear so much delay, you can actually back it down to almost nothing. See? Just a little. Almost right there. Now watch what happens. Turn it off. So again, I like it almost just as a little bit, not a boost, but just a little bit on the front end of the amplifier. And of course, a little bit of that delay. Here we go. There we go. So we get that. Now what we're going to do is I'm turning the gain up just a hair, just enough to give it just a little bit more kick. And what we're going to do is A, B, the uh, tape echo from Wampler in the front end of the Friedman and in the effects loop. And, you'll, and I'll show you and you can A, B them. And you can just see how it sounds differently. And then I'll A, B the Friedman without the tape delay and the tape delay in the front end. And again, all that will be labeled so you'll know exactly what's going on. <laughs>
the tape delay really warms up the amp and changes it. It makes it better. It gives it more of a vintage style. You can probably tell from that digital pedal, although digital pedal is great, I use those most of the time, when put in front of the amp, it actually made it harsh and the delay was a little chaotic. It's just not the way to go if you're going to go in front of the amp. And if you don't have an effects loop, you're really limited to the options you have anyway, so tape delay is something you really need to check out. Now, Wampler was nice enough to send me some pedals to check out, and this is one of them, and I thought, what better way to, to demonstrate what you can do with a tape delay? So there's a couple things that I want to point out about this pedal that is important to what I did today. See, this pedal is not just a tape delay, it has a couple feature sets that enabled me to do what I was doing. And one of them was this tone control right here. Now, the tone control is important because it actually changes the tone of the repeats. And when you run a guitar, especially a Strat like I was using today, into an amplifier with some drive, those repeats get a little harsh and shrill. And so the tone control backed off to warm those up will give you more of that David Gilmore warmth that you're looking for. And that was important. The tap tempo feature is really nice, especially if you're changing you know song tempos quite often everything else was pretty laid out like a normal tape echo uh, pedal so that was pretty traditional but like I said it was definitely a good quality pedal and that did help the situation a lot today I want to thank Wampler for letting me check this out as always guys if you like to see more videos go ahead and subscribe because we put them out every week and thank you for your time and know your gear